We'll give it a couple of days here and we'll get back toward the averages, which is close to 80 degrees in the city of Boston. Although we see improvements tomorrow back into the 70s, picked up about an inch to an inch and a half, even a couple locations over two inches of rain throughout the area. And look at this high temperature, 59 in Boston. We're almost in July. Man, that was a cool day in the city of Boston. Did some better, though, down across far southeastern Mass. We managed to climb into the lower 70s from Hyannis and even some mid-70s down into the vineyard. The wind now more out of the north and it's pushing and draining some of that cooler air back to southeastern Mass. So it is a cool evening ahead of us stepping out for dinner. Keep the umbrella handy. Not any heavy rain, but still patches of drizzle out there. And visibility, eh, it's so-so here. No dense fog for the most part, except for Nantucket, although we do have a lot of low clouds and some fog out there. Winds speeds still active out of the north here at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. They're just not nearly as strong as what we saw earlier today. And you look at the direction, you can see how these winds are coming in from the north and eventually from the northwest. And the more west we go, the better off we'll be. And I think we eventually turn to the west to southwest for tomorrow, and that will really help dry things out. Still have a lot of low level moisture in place. The radar doesn't pick up on anything significant in terms of heavy rain, although you can see some patches of drizzle and some patchy light rain out there at this hour. And I think that will continue as we go through the evening hours. Now, eventually later overnight tonight, we do start to dry on out as this whole system begins to sort of lose its grip and fade away, moving off to the north and to the east here. And we'll get into some of the drier times for tomorrow. Still a lot of clouds around on Monday, especially through the first half of the day. Low risk for passing shower, but I think we'll get some more more breaks of sun through the clouds in the afternoon. Tuesday, a dry day. There could be a couple of thunderstorms out across western New England, but I think a better chance for more widespread thunderstorms will come in here on Wednesday, especially in the afternoon. A muggy day on Wednesday, too, with the winds coming out of the south. So we'll increase that scattered storm chance on Wednesday. The rest of the upcoming week here looks rather dry, uh, including Thursday. Just any low risk of a passing shower. Then patchy drizzle tonight, stray shower. Mm, I'm not out of the question. We'll have a couple of them, but it's cool overall. Temperatures lower to middle 50s with that northeasterly wind becoming calm and then eventually to the west southwest. And we start tomorrow off cloudy. We go partly sunny in the afternoon, 74 to 78. So there's that improvement. And by the time we get into Tuesday, I think a lot of us will reach the lower 80s out there. Some scattered storms around on Wednesday, mainly dry Thursday into Friday. There could be a couple of showers around sometime Friday night, early Saturday. I don't see any substantial storms next weekend like we had this weekend and the weekend before, although there may be that shower sometime early on Saturday. Otherwise, it looks pretty good, guys, as we head into the 4th of July.